Excuse me, sir. Are you one of the workers here? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please, find them if you can. I... I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break, just to catch my breath. I ended up falling asleep in the shelter inside. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them and suddenly... They'd vanished. Maybe... Maybe I'm next. So the men that were out working disappeared, with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Perhaps an accident occurred on sight. Ah, oh, what a scary thought. An on-site accident. We should note that down too. Found some clues! Time to report back to Uncle Dai! You're back. How are the investigations going? We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes, yet everyday items are still in their place. This suggests that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Who indeed? Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on sight. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with him? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his, uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. A child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch him. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. <sighs> You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Inn tomorrow evening. Agreed. All right, me and my men will get going. So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Oh yeah! Where's Kunjun? Paimon bets he's still investigating. Let's go find him! For? We're all out of clues! Let's get going! Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Dragonfall? Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? 
I... I don't know. I... I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very... absent lately. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious. As if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Oh, Paimon knows that feeling when you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. I don't even know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhang Li. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Great! Let's have a look! Your fit. Dodge this, you're open. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. The hunter, you're open. Uh -huh. Here comes the hunter. You're open. You're open. Witness the power of Gugwa. You're open. Here. I call treasure.
Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. been left by the miners let us make our way to the end of lingju pass if there are no footprints there it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself however if we find new tracks we can follow them wherever they may lead benny's a It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went! should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Hi there! Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone else. Stop bothering me! Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Jeez! A little grumpy, aren't we? Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. Hey 
containers? It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Yeah, that's them! Four or five days ago? It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Huh. This child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And they took this road? Yes, they followed it straight from here. Let's go after them! Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue's Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Huh? Are you sure you're not a miner? A miner? We're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I... I think I saw those people. Really? Yes. I set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people. A few men and a child. I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. 
I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. According to this scholar, the miners were heading for Nantiamun. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. Uh, but... Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Aha! Paimon nearly forgot about our secret weapon! It looks promising. I'll do my best. It's the same group, all right. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like... like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night, over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geo-Bishop Hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was... unusual. We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nan Tianmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nan Tianmen, we should be able to catch up with them. Great! No time to lose! I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. Clever thinking! A classic Zhongli move! <laughs>